Hello students and welcome to our secondary stalls demonstration video. Before we jump into the cockpit, let's quickly discuss the objective of this maneuver and some key factors that we'll be focusing on. A secondary stall is so named because it occurs after recovery from a preceding stall. It is typically caused by abrupt control inputs or attempting to return to the desired flight path too quickly and the critical angle of attack being exceeded a second time. For pilot certification, this is a demonstration only maneuver. In this maneuver execution video, we will not be covering detailed aerodynamics, maneuver diagrams, common student errors, or the ACS standards. This video is to simply explain and demonstrate the execution of the maneuver and will vary based on the aircraft you are flying. To see all of the additional details we just mentioned and to study the lesson's full length of presentation, podcast, diagrams, flashcards, lesson quiz, and more, look up the secondary stalls lesson on our website at wificfi.com. Lastly, before we jump into the cockpit, there are a couple key factors that we need to cover regarding this maneuver. First, we are going to begin our flight in the practice area at a safe altitude to execute and recover from the stall and the secondary stall. So we're going to start at approximately 2,500 feet AGL. We'll also begin with the airplane in the normal cruising configuration and just at a normal cruise airspeed. We'll go ahead and do our clearing turns to look outside for other traffic in the area. Now, this secondary stall demonstration can be done after recovery from either a power on or power off stall. In today's example, we're gonna do it after recovery from a power off stall. We're gonna do the initial power off stall, then we're gonna recover incorrectly and it will take us into a secondary power off stall. However, you could also do it in a power on stall. Works basically the same way, but if you have not seen our power on or power off stall videos on Wi-Fi CFI, go watch those first before you come back and watch the rest of this lesson because we're not gonna be covering the details of the power on or power off stall, okay? Again, we're gonna do this in a power off stall. So we're gonna set the whole entire airplane up for power off stall. On the recovery from the initial stall, we'll, so again, we'll do the power off stall, on the recovery from the initial stall, we are going to attempt to increase our angle of attack or recover too quickly from the stall condition. What you'll notice is that this is going to cause our airplane to quickly re-enter the stall or enter the secondary stall. As soon as this happens, we're going to recover from the secondary stall using the same techniques we used to recover from the initial stall, but this time we're gonna do it correctly and smoothly rather than rapidly and harshly. So we'll cover the rest of the airplane. It'll all make sense as we get into the secondary stall. And uh, we'll head out there, show you guys how to do it. Okay, we are out here at our airplane, going to demonstrate a secondary stall. Before we do that, we just gotta do our clearing turns. As we're doing the clearing turns, I'll explain how we have our airplane set up and then we'll do the maneuver. Out here in the practice area, you can see we are at 3,500 feet, which is a little more than 2,500 feet AGL and we'll go ahead and do our clearing turns. So we're just gonna do a left 180 for our clearing turn. Again, you can do this in the power on stall configuration or power off for you know the secondary stall. We're gonna do a power off stall and then on the recovery, we'll do the recovery incorrectly to get the secondary stall. But you can also do it with a power on stall. So I just brought my throttle back slow down a little bit and we can get ourselves set up for the power off stall. Looking outside, making sure that there's no traffic in the area, nobody's in our way, we're not getting anybody else's way. Everything's looking good, so we'll hop back in our cockpit. Okay, I'm gonna kick off our autopilot, retrim the airplane real quick. Then I'm gonna reduce our throttle set ourselves up for the power off stall extend one notch of flaps extend a second and extend a third for the power off stall we're going to establish a nice stabilized descent 65 to 70 knots as we have here Perfect. we're all set up. 
So we're going to do the power off stall, but remember when we recover, we're not going to recover smoothly and controlled. We're going to do it abrupt and rapid. And when we do that, we'll quickly enter a secondary stall where we'll then recover from that stall using the same techniques, but we'll do it controlled and smooth. So power's coming back to idle. We're going to bring our nose up. Wait for stall indications. There they are, so we're going to nose down, give it full power. Immediately, oh, start pulling back up, and you see how fast that secondary stall came. So we're going to hold the nose down. Speed up correctly now, nice and smoothly. Start climbing out and retracting our flaps. Flaps retracted, we're at our VY speed. We'll continue our climb up and away from the runway and up away from our obstacles. And then we'd climb back up to whatever heading and altitude that our examiner or flight instructor desired. So you saw how fast that happened. When the initial stall happened, I went ahead, I lowered my nose pretty rapidly, pretty sharply, and then immediately kind of brought it back. If you have students that you know are nervous about practicing stalls or whatever, they can do this. They can lower that nose, but then before they've recovered enough airspeed, they immediately start pulling back on the yoke and start climbing again because you know they're nervous about the descent, about falling. And they immediately pull back on the oak and that secondary stall will come real quick. That horn will kick back on, the plane will start to buffet or it may even just stall a second time. When that happens, just do the good recovery technique. Lower the nose, be patient about it, build your airspeed, recover from the stall, and then climb out. So that's it for our secondary stall demonstration maneuver, guys. Thank you for joining us and we will see you on our next lesson coming up soon.